Hello Oracle folks, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database Video YouTube tutorial, I am going to show you how to add a disk, a partition file, whatever, to an already existing ASM disk group. Now, on this database, on this computer system, we have two uh, databases running, instances running. We have a regular RDBMS database instance running, um, our finance database, and we have a plus ASM instance running, which is plus ASM, plus sign ASM is the name of our, um, is the name of the ASM instances. Um, and um, ASM isn't managing that database finance, but um, I'm going to show you how to uh, take a disk away. Now, typically what you would use is you would use um, disk partitions, or you would use, uh, or an entire disk as um, the backend devices, if you will, to your ASM disk groups, your source storage. But on this particular Windows box, we're using files in the ASM disks directory. So if we look in our ASM disks directory, we will see three files, each 300 meg each, and um, which gives us a total of about 900 meg um, total space. Now, um, these are files which uh, ASM thinks are disk partitions and is using as back storage. So what we do is we log in our ASM instance, we set the Oracle SID to plus ASM, we ensure we're set properly, and we log in with SQL plus. Okay. Now what we do is we say select name and path from the ASM disk. And what we'll see is we'll see that we have three disks just like we showed you here ASM disk 1, ASM disk 2, and ASM disk 3 um, but only two of them are assigned to disk groups because they have they have logical disk group names if you will D group 1 0 and D group 1 and D group 1 1 okay this one is not assigned to anything okay so three hundred three three hundred meg files, only one and two are assigned to a disk ASM disk group. File three is not. Okay? So if we type in select total MB from the ASM disk group. But if we say select name total, comma total MB, which is better, from B dollar ASM underscore disk group we will see that we have one disk group called D group 1 which is 600 meg and it's 600 meg because we're only using two 300 gig disks 300 meg disks okay disk 1 disk 2 so 3 plus 300 plus 300 is 600 600 meg and it's not 900 since we're not using the third disk now if we want to use the third disk as long as it doesn't belong to another disk group or anything we can type in the following alter disk group and you must be in the ASM um, instance to do this alter disk group the name of the disk group, which in this case is D group one, add disk, and we give it the name, the path name of the disk. Uh, usually, in partition in, in production environments, they'd be disk partition names. In Unix, they'd be slash dev slash whatever. So alter disk group D group one, name of the disk group, add disk, C colon slash ASM disks slash ASM disk three dot ASM. Okay. So again, alter disk group, D group one, add disk, and the path name of the disk. Okay, disk group altered. And we don't we don't need to take it offline or anything. Now when we do select name total MB from V dollar sign ASM disk group, we will see that we increased it from six hundred gig a meg pool to a nine hundred meg pool. Okay, and if we look in, and if we do a select name comma path from VA, V dollar sign ASM disk again, we will see that, that there is now three disks in the disk group because they all have now logical, if you will, ASM disk group names. Now we have D group 1, 0, D group 1, 1, and disk 3, ASM disk 3 dot ASM got D group 1 underscore 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Okay, so all those disks are now in use. Uh, files, partitions, whatever you want to call them, are in use by the D group one ASM disk group. Okay, that's how you add disk to a um, ASM disk group.